Welcome to WISIS Forum 2018. I am delighted to be joined by Mr. Karol Okonski, who is Deputy Minister at the Ministry of Digital Affairs in Poland. My Thank pleasure. you Thank very you. much for being with us today. Um, and you were WISIS Prize winners this year, so congratulations. Thank you very much. Yes, as a matter of fact, we, we won in the first category, uh, the Action I won, uh, dealing with supporting the support of the government to the development of ICT. And uh, yes, we were really uh, proud that the, the we won the prize. There was it's the project actually also that has very, I think, important uh, role in the in the you know the whole community, especially in the area of education. As the project name is the Nationwide Education Network, and it's about providing the high-speed internet to all the schools in Poland. So we are speaking about more than thirty thousand schools, and in total about five million pupils and and, and teachers that will be then by this um, uh, will be benefit from this from this project it's not all about uh, you know thanks to the, this high speed connection it's also the um, uh, the idea of providing the content digitally so the new ways of teaching the t teaching children and also there's some special security measures to make sure that uh, when using internet the um, uh, the that the content will be just you know adapted to to, to the audience that, that is uh, so the people so the teachers it's a good illustration of how you can use ICTs uh, to yeah. achieve the SDGs. Yes, yes, because you know it's in the end it's uh, like um, it's of course the the, the, the fundament, the foundation. I would say you know that, that you know bringing the high speed internet itself you know that will not solve the problems. Like you know will not solve you know the the first goal of SDG like end poverty like directly, but indirectly in the end it can you know better the whole situation in the in given community you know, when there is, was the low population the, in some rural areas when there was low investments because it was not really beneficial for the companies you know, to just bring money and, and invest and provide this high-speed internet with uh, the subsidy from the government then the, the high-speed the, 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 the connection to the internet of the school can actually spark the, uh, the the initiatives and around the school around the community and the access to ICT the, the applications that the making it available to uh, to the to the people so the other teachers can actually open the perspectives also there so this like you know uh, starting the, the the journey and and the ICT then here can play can can be this trigger that that helps them actually you know achieve their their, their, their goals and then uh, and develop, uh, you know, their, their their competences. The big theme at WISIS Forum 2018 is building a knowledge and information society. And I understand that in Poland you are making efforts uh, in terms of open data in particular to create a real digital society. So what can you tell me about it? It is true. I mean, we, we know that, uh, you know, the governments are collecting you know, really vast amounts of data and in the end, that uh, I think our goal as a government is to make sure that this data can be then reused and provided to the public, both to make sure that you know the government is made accountable and that the, the actions are transparent. So you know for that sort some kind of a surveillance and control of the, of the of the of the citizens of its government, but also this data can be, let's say, the special uh, the the resource for providing some new services. That you know, there is a company that can collect data and reach them. Um, I mean, I'm spe speaking of course non-personal data. So making the some combinations, and then in the end, there is a new business application, new business uh, value derived from it, which in the end, as source, takes this government data and and making sure that this uh, w whatever government produces can be then made public and uh, and shared with the public. Uh, is is something that we you know we approach and try to approach in a very systematic way. So we have like a special program, opening opening data, but government data program. Let's say with, with the special structure also the policy makers with the so-called data uh, data officers within each ministry, which which ro uh, whose role is to actually to make sure that every valuable every data that has some value will be provided to 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 to, to be reused. But also in the right uh, in the right format in the right uh, standard, because only then when the data is like say you know, the the the, right, the delivered in the right standard and can be also processed, and uh, and can be uh, can be reused. So it's only about opening data, but also the the way that you do it. So the you know the access standard and san and the standards in terms of not only technical but also the legal security. If 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 we have we have here common understanding and the knowledge. 
that is passed to all the all the people involved, both the institutions and the and the citizens, then we, we then can be can be sure that you know that this data this data can you know live. Uh, have a lot of lives, I would say, and be reused uh, over and over again. Uh, so from the same stem, from the same root, then, you know, becoming uh, numerous, numerous values. Mr. Okonski, thank you very much.